Dear Mr. Williams, I am sorry to say I've just read your letter here in San Diego today. You see, it troubles me greatly to see that you claim that I endorse your view, though you may not know my name, or in fact where I live, how I think, feel, or care. You see, I am a songwriter, speaking up for a freedom to share. Did we meet at the Senator's luncheon in 04? At the Red Elephant Convention with Mr. Hatch in New York? If we did, my apologies, for I met many folks from ASCAP that day that I had not met before. Now, I do appreciate your efforts to speak on my behalf, but the statements you've made, well, in all honesty, make me laugh. You see, as a child, on my fourth birthday, my parents brought home a piano. No unions or subscriptions to pay. I was just free to sit and improv and create. No authorization needed to sing or to play. Years later in Nashville, and then in L.A., I heard, Man, if you just lose some weight and write lighter songs, you know, love songs, you can make it real big. Lots of folks will be singing along. Now, will you dance on TV and sing our list of tunes? I said, no, I'm a writer. So I picked the web over you. And now I write, record, upload, and sing. Perform at concerts and conventions worldwide. But there are few who can or will pay. So I've got a job on the side. But I still have my music, and that's a God-given thing. Free to me and to all who love to play and to sing. I am free to express and share what I please without you or your contracts or your boxes and fees. So, Mr. Williams, I am sure your intentions are pure. But whose words will you hear? Those of your artist or of your lawyer? Copy left is my choice. Copyright is my right. Now, if you just say you're sorry and make amends quite contrite, remain a member of ASCAP, well... I just might.